Expert. Prince Harry's nonverbal cues indicate how King Charles is faring after his diagnosis. Following a corrective procedure for a benign enlarged prostate on January 26, King Charles personally informed both of his sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, about his cancer diagnosis. Cancer was discovered during that procedure, but it was not prostate-related. On February 5, after the king's diagnosis was made public, Harry took a plane from Lax to Heathrow the same day in order to see his father on February 6. Harry arrived at Lax at 6.16 p.m. local time last night after spending just 25 hours in the United Kingdom on his way back to California. It seemed like Harry left the UK with a sense of reassurance, body language expert Judy James told The Mirror. Here, Harry appears relieved, which should give us some good news about his father's current state of health. The way he walks with his hands in his pockets and his relaxed body language give the impression that he is more carefree and not at all tense or anxious. She sent further that he seems to be having fun with a joke or sharing laughter with those who are with him, as evidenced by his animated facial expression and smile. Here, it is implied that after their brief encounter, he is hopefully departing the United Kingdom with some sense of comfort. Seemingly to see his son, Charles postponed a scheduled helicopter ride from Clarence House, his London residence, to Sandringham. Before the king's cancer treatments reportedly left him too exhausted to do much more, the two conversed at Clarence House for roughly 30 minutes. Charles fervently desires a reconciliation with Harry. His father called him directly to break the news of his cancer diagnosis, and Harry boarded the overnight flight from Los Angeles. The father-son reunion was probably very emotional, according to Nicole. She stated on page 6 that the meeting was probably quite difficult for both of them, but that the king would have been hugely relieved and comforted by the fact that Harry flew over. A true thawing in the relations between Charles and his son, the meeting signifies, the speaker continued, and I think it's absolutely fundamental and important in healing the rift. Despite some of the things Harry has written, I know that Charles has always had the door open. I was informed by a very close source that the king loves his son regardless of what Harry has said or done. It does make you reevaluate things, in my opinion, which is why Harry boarded the first flight he could after experiencing such a serious health scare. According to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, who spoke to the Daily Mail, the fact that Harry made the transatlantic trip at all shows hope for reconciliation between Harry and the rest of the royal family, even though their relationship still seems to be very much on ice. He declared, Cancer has completely changed the situation. The entire dynamic between the royal family and the Sussexes has shifted as a result of the king's diagnosis of a condition that millions of people know is fatal. A family's only chance to defeat cancer is by uniting. Though Harry's visit and departure time have received a lot of attention, that isn't the main point. The important thing to remember is that Charles told Harry the diagnosis when Harry arrived. He only wanted to show his support. I hope this could be the beginning of some form of reconciliation, Fitzwilliam said in a hopeful aside that included us as well. Prince Harry's visit to King Charles in the UK was, once more, merely an image saver, according to royal expert. Prince Harry's stay in the UK was significant, even though it was brief when he visited his sick father, King Charles Iwe. Harry's support for his father, who announced his cancer diagnosis the day before, has been interpreted by royal experts in two ways, positively and negatively. Harry's trip was a Hail Mary, according to royal expert Shannon Felton. We later learned that he was informed in advance, but he flew and announced to the press after the king's statement was made public. He spent a full day there, saw his father for 45 minutes, and missed seeing his sister-in-law, nieces, and nephews, who are also going through a traumatic medical recovery. It is difficult to see it as anything more than a picture saver for Harry. I was really hoping that this was the news he needed to wake up and fix it, so it hurts me.
On Tuesday, Harry arrived and had a quick visit with the monarch at Clarence House, his London residence. Prince William and he didn't get along. Although the younger prince desired a reunion with his elder brother, no meeting would occur, according to royal expert Hilary Fordwich, who previously told Fox News.